The Shawnee Mission School Board expects a flood of angry parents at tonight's meeting. Now, a growing number of parents believe the district is quietly planning controversial changes that would force many kids to leave their current school. Today, Amy Holly talked with parents. When Dave Root walks through his gate, he sees all things kids, not only in his yard, but the adjoining yards in his Prairie Village neighborhood close to Shawnee Mission East High School. You can see that, that brown house right there. They're, they have a baby probably not even toddler age. He says that's why he and his wife moved their seven-year-old daughter, Poppy, to the same friendly neighborhood where he grew up in... 1977. It was a fun time. And there's another reason. Schools. Good public schools. Briarwood Elementary is where he went to school, and he wants Poppy to do the same. But... There are changes being made that we don't know about. Those are boundary changes the district is now about to recommend because Poppy's school, Briarwood Elementary, is bursting at the seams. So someone will likely have to move to another school. And Dave Root is worried his daughter might be one of them. Anger. Mad. Quick. Yeah, I mean, this is, we moved here to go to the school that we have our child in. The superintendent says he is about to make boundary change recommendations for more than one school to accommodate the sudden surge of young families moving back into the Shawnee Mission School District. In fact, the district says this year's kindergarten class is its biggest since 1995. All of this in the same school district that controversially closed 12 schools since 2001 because it was losing young families. I don't know if they're looking far enough ahead. I don't know if they look far enough ahead when they closed all the schools. The superintendent plans to make boundary change recommendations May 28th. In Prairie Village, Amy Holly, 41 Action News.